We are in Venice. And we're off on an adventure. You're gonna have to learn to love. I'm gonna have to learn to breathe. You're gonna have to learn to love. I'm gonna have to learn to eat. Yeah, we've been on the road like half an hour from Venice. And now it's getting interesting. Oh, there's no phone service. That's probably why you said honk the horn when you're here. <laughs> That's a great horn, mate. We keep waiting for a sign that it's a time. How long have you been here? Uh, about five years. Like originally I got the house and then this lot was for sale. Wow. And oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 It's an amazing place. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. So I've just been doing a bit of production design stuff with my clutter stuff. Because I collect antique stuff. So. I was thinking like a writer's retreat type, you know, mm -hmm. artist residence type thing. Mm -hmm. But there is really quiet. I can't help believe this is only like half an hour from Venice. Mm. Or yeah. Minutes, well. Time already. By the time it's time. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> but it was only, it was 16,000. 16? Yeah. Mm. Wow. What they say is the smaller airstreams are more expensive than the bigger airstreams. So technically I could tow it to an event. Mm. Do like a pop-up thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> insane view. And this road as well, so handy. Yeah. It was like the partners I was dealing with, we backed out and we closed it down. It was, it was just a bit of a mess, but... It's just the brush clearance is, you know, it's a big job to keep on it. I've been busy with work. And... So that's what they were saying, like maybe we could come up on weekends, but I was like, you need, you need someone to be taking care of the vegetables and stuff more than once a week. What and room do you see for like kind of collaboration here? I'd be open to figuring about the hoot houses, you know, getting those going for some food grown and yeah. then, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of open for ideas because, you know, it's like a lot for one person to do. Absolutely, and then, yeah. But I mean, obviously not, I'd like to make some money for it because it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of investment. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this truck out. This is the treehouse tree, right? Oh my it's like gosh! A low, a low trip. That's so shady. It wouldn't need to be high. It wouldn't need to be high. It's just a little platform. Right? You're excited by this place. Though. Ah, I think it's perfect. Very cool. Louis talking about putting the treehouse in here. This is a bit of a different recce for me because I'm kind of on the back seat. But um, it feels like the challenge is always to think: where do you begin? What's one small thing you can do together to try and build a better relationship? because you can't do all your dreams in one go. So we've only got an hour together as well, so it's not like we've got all day, but we'll see where we get to before we leave. But he's a good guy. He's, he wants to do activism stuff with his projectors and loves stuff with Greenpeace and Amnesty. So feels like he's on the right vibe. You're gonna have to learn to love. I'm gonna have to learn to pray. You're gonna memory ran out but that was amazing the audio quality the, the sound of the birds and everything was perfect I hear it gets incredibly hot 44 degrees or something in the summer so that's something to bear in mind but I'm really excited for these guys kind of starting it feels very much like the Whiston Woods journey obviously there's fire risks and all sorts of challenges but the guy Paul is a uh, done incredibly well to get hold of those yurts and the airstreams to get the land He's got land in Canada as well. And most importantly, he's got a very open heart. Um, open to collaborate. And then he's led us to this restaurant for lunch. Follow your heart. Apparently like the oldest vegetarian restaurant in LA. the Malibu Hills, which is where I parked the happiness bus, yeah. like the school bus, and uh, we're going to go and check out the land there. So yes. Yeah. So what's it called? Expedition Happiness? That's the Netflix doc, yeah. Yeah, so the guy you bought it off did an Netflix doc, 
and people can go check that out on Netflix. Yeah, 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 go check it out. Got like embedded vlog music in the background here. Oh, this is my jam. I know. Totally my jam. Let's just get his number and get him to come and play at something you guys are doing. Sam hasn't even been up here. Dave hasn't even seen the bus. Ever, Never. So it's amazing. It's time for a little tour. Behind the house is a hot tub and swimming pool. Which <laughs> nice. Was it a pain to get it in here? Yeah, I, I didn't even do it. I got it. I parked it there, and then they they did a full crazy like fifty point turn to get it around there, mm. and then stacked up like built a whole mound for it to kind of level it out and stuff. And is it marketed as like the happiness Netflix bus that Louis YouTuber yeah. man now owns? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's the happiness bus there. That's the Instagram. Sick. <laughs> is, isn't this crazy? <laughs> this is beautiful. Nice, beautiful. Isn't this amazing? I mean, I, I can't take credit for like actually doing the renovation, but wow. I still feel really proud showing people around. It's cool. <laughs> and then Cam probably hasn't. Cam lived in this bus for over a year. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So this is probably going to be a bit of an emotional reunion. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I met you once, and then the next time we saw each other, I was like, do you want to look after my school bus? Yeah. For a year. <laughs> so then through here... Yeah, come and have a look in the bedroom. It is so nice. Nice little spot, Ooh, yeah. Oh. It's a bit short for you, though, isn't it, Louis? Yeah, I can stand up in the... Just <laughs> with your head out the roof. Yeah. Live they simply. Separa separation. That is an unexpectedly lovely shower. Let me get them, wait, wait. All, it was all, it was all hand uh, tiled by Mowgli, the girl who. Mowgli. Mowgli. Yeah, Mo <laughs> what a name. We keep how does it work with the your relation? Because it's your bus, but it's not yeah. your land. So how does we've the relationship just, work? We've just got a we've just got an agreement of like responsibilities, mm -hmm. and then we just split a percentage of like. So they look after the day to day like bookings and all that, and like put towels out and yeah, yeah, get a clean host in. people in. Exactly. So they're basically the Airbnb hosts. Yeah, but they're but it's symbiotic for them because they get some revenue. Yeah, and they have a cool bus on their place. Yeah, and then I'll handle, and then I just make videos and promote it a little bit and ah. it's got it's kind of got its own people know about the bus already kind yeah of so it's, it comes with a lot of value before you know just bringing this particular bus yeah it makes that place cooler yeah yeah we keep it's impressive to see i mean louis has got a ton of vehicles <laughs> over the years he's had so many different ones but it's nice to see him finally getting it in a spot in collaboration with someone where it can make him some income and he can still enjoy it. But I guess the ideal is when you've got a sense of community and a bit of income and the mobility to use it if you want to. So slowly, slowly putting the pieces of the puzzle together. This is a pretty damn good step. Well, that's it. That's the end of the US adventures. I think... Um, Paul's place this morning feels like a blank canvas and ready for someone like Louis to come along and add value, whereas here it feels like they've already got their own vibe going on and the bus just plugs into that. And there's more opportunities probably with Paul to think about owning in the future, so I feel like there's more growth there. I guess the next steps there are to go and help him for a day, figure out a, a swell type event to do there, and after that I think the projects will become clear. But a successful US trip, both Detroit and LA, always good to catch up with Louis and Raya, see what they've got going on. I didn't really show you, but they've got a whole community house going on where they're inspiring each other to make good content, to build a better future. So I feel like there's like a network of networks developing where it's kind of overlap. We're sort of trying to reignite the old Solvi project. He's pulling Live the Adventure in, the Corcovado kind of acts as trying to network the spaces and 
Maybe that's what the future looks like, a network of networks. It feels good. I'm very glad to be back here. I forgot how much I loved California. Uh, thanks, Jeff, for having us over in Detroit. Thanks, Louis and Raya, for having me in your place. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. See you next Thursday, probably. And I'll be happy. Is he going to Check out this guy's number plate. I think he's trying Plant -based. to cover, but this guy is like... <laughs> <laughs>